happy. Everything in here is one euro. What's up everyone, we're back at it again. Last video we went south of the city, this time we're going two counties north, so let's just get straight out there and see what we can find. So success in that first stop. We're being show for the round today so we can do a bit more talking in between stops. But we grabbed seven games, a few to flip, a few to keep for the collection. We had to leave a few behind, they were a bit scratched and missing discs and stuff like that. But we're off to a great start, let's just keep going and see what else we can get.
Right, I could take a wee look at that for you. Brad. Right, so nothing in those last few. We've got one more to go to. We normally get a few decent bits in this one, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some good stuff. Right, so we're back home. That last stop didn't let us down. We picked up another eight games. That Minecraft's gonna pay for everything that we got today. And we also have this bag of toys for one euro. I picked it up because I had a little Mario in it. Where is he? He's there somewhere. So looking forward to opening that and seeing what else is in there. Right, so I'm just gonna open that bag of figures and pick up, see it's written decent inside it. We go straight for the Mario anyway. So he's gonna go straight onto the shelf. That's gonna look pretty cool. Now, I don't know an awful lot about toys, I just know stuff that I had as a kid. This is, I don't know, is it some sort of transformer that doesn't transform? Yeah, you're going to have to tell me in the comments if there's anything in here that you recognise, because I actually don't have a clue. Little sheep there. Oh, I know who I can send that to, actually. There's Archer Knight fella. He's pretty cool. I feel like I've seen this one before. Head's a bit wonky though. It's written on their feet, right like that, that says Leonard, China. No, nope, definitely gonna be relying on the comments on this one. Some weird bike thingy. Someone has to know what that is. And then this, I feel like I've seen this fella before as well. You got like. He's like the old style kind of figure with the arms and stuff. In 2005. So I don't know. Let me know if there's anything else good in there. Anyway, the rest is just little odds and ends of animals and stuff like that. So, but well worth it for a year just to get that Mario off the shelf. Whoop. Okay, so we're just going to dip out really quickly. I did the deal online the other day. I picked up, I think it was 19 PlayStation 2 games for 25 euro. 
It was free delivery, so it's basically a Euro a game. There's nothing mad in there. There's a few good titles for the collection, a few crappy 50 cent ones that we'll use the cases. Hopefully get some good ones we can switch out for stuff that we already have in the collection. But I missed the delivery yesterday because we're out game hunting, which is just seen. So I'm going to nip down to the local post office now. We'll pick that up and we'll have a look at everything that we grabbed down in the game room when we get back. Right, so we're back in the game room. We'll have a little look at that PS2 pickup in a minute. But let's just go back to yesterday and what we picked up then. We hit about seven or eight charity shops in a row. First shop picked up seven games, seen nothing for about six shops, and then picked up like eight or nine in the last one. So it was a good day. We got a few good bits for the collection. But in the first shop, picked up, these were two euro each. Little Big Planet. I already have it, but the disc in this one is like it was never even put into a PlayStation 3 before. So we'll swap it out with mine and then we'll trade it off. I picked up WWE 13. This one was actually stickered or taped off, so I couldn't check the condition of the disc or anything like that. We got it home and opened it up. It was empty. We haven't done that for a while, so we'll put it in the drawer and we might get a loose copy of it at some stage. Grabbed a complete copy of Rainbow Six Vegas. Don't have that one, so we pop that up on the shelf and have a play someday. Same again for Fallout 3. This one was complete. Got this pure and Lego Batman double pack. I always see the lads in America go on about these double packs if they're complete and they're worth a few bob. Both discs are in there, both manuals are in there, but it's actually worth about two quid. So. But look, one we don't have, we'll put it on the shelf and we'll probably play Lego Batman anyway. And then grabbed uh, Tekken 6. This is a nice disc in it, but it is missing the manual. So, but again, one we don't have, one we get a play out of. And then just grabbed a copy of Saints Row 2. Again, no manual, but should it for two euro. We might pick up a better copy someday. So then, yeah, like we had a bit of a dry spell, didn't see much for a few stops. And then that last shot, the first thing, I might as well show it because I'll probably show it in the intro. But we grabbed a copy of Minecraft on the 360. So this sells for like 20 quid all day long. So we pretty much recoup all our money that we spent. So always look out for Minecraft. It's a class one to get. Another random Blu-ray. I always pick up the decent Blu-rays in that shop. I think this trades for about two or three quid, sells for about six. So obviously anything horror, if you see it, just look it up because you never know. Grab this because we have to pick one up in every episode of Copy of We Play. Madden 25, I think this actually trades for a few quid. Not really big into the NFL games. I have played one or two of them, but this is like a 25th sort of anniversary one. So I don't know, we might pop it in and have a shot of it. We got our first Turtles game for the collection. We got this one on the 360. Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So definitely going to play that one. And then we actually got a few Lego Star Wars. We got the Complete Saga. These are all ones I don't, I don't think I have them. Let me have a look. No, I don't have any Lego games on the 360 actually. They're all classics, but yeah, the Complete Saga. And that one is complete. And then these two, which feel like, yeah, they're, they're disc only, but Lego Batman and Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars. So. The Lego games are good crack, so we'll have a little play of them. And then, I don't know why I'm ending on Grand Slam Tennis, but there you go. Again, it was a Euro trade, so a few quid, but we might give it a go. I don't mind an old tennis game if it's decent. So yeah, then we we did that online pickup. I think it was, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago. Just having a little browse online. I was on adverts. E. It's just a buy and sell site over here. And there was, I'm not going to call them. I think they're, they it's a company that sells like collectible figures and stuff like that but they do kind of take in different bits and pieces so they do take in games and systems and stuff like that they had an ad up one day they just had a pile of 19 playstation 2 games they were just clearing out make way for some new stock and it was 25 euro including delivery so i just grabbed it like there's nothing i'll go through them one by one just show people what was in there you can tell me if you think it was good value but 25 for free delivery, like it's basically one euro a game. There's a few good ones here for the collection, a few that I really want to try, and like I said earlier, there's some that are just 50 cent games, but they, thankfully it looks like they've all got nice cases, so we just go through them very quickly. Just give me a second to get the pile out of the box here. Right, so in no particular order. I'm not going to individually comp these out, I'll just, I'll have a little look later on, I'll top up how much it cost to pick up in CEX and what you'd get in trade if you were to bring them all up there and I'll just put a little thing up the bottom at the end. I know I point up the top there, but yeah. So we got Gun, Griffin, Blaze, Sensible Soccer 2006, these look like, but so far, so far they're complete and just very lightly scratched discs, so that's grand. I think that's, yeah, OG Sims, that might be worth a few quid in trade. We got Ghost Recon, Jungle Storm. 
absolute banger here dora the explorer dora the explorer journey to the purple planet i don't know stupid stuff like that sometimes actually does trade well so we'd have to look it up we got driver parallel lines we'll definitely play that one sniper elite I tie play too. This is one of those 50 cent ones. It's even the, the platinum one. But there's... Oh, there's actually a little bonus in this one. So, that's complete there. And then there's... I don't know. It was just the FIFA 10 manual and disc. Which is in perfect condition. I think this FIFA 10 is actually the last... I think this was the last FIFA on the PlayStation 2. So, I think that might actually trade in for a few quid. We'll have to look it up. We've no case for it anyway, so we'll have to keep an eye over the case. But I know there is. I must do a little list and put it on the Discord. There are certain FIFA games that I think it's sort of end of life on a particular console or start of life on a particular console that actually still are worth a few quid. So don't always dismiss all the FIFA games when you see them in the charity shops. Some of them are worth a few quid, so we'll definitely have to put that little list together. And we have this one, El Tigre, The Adventures of Nanny Rivera. This actually looks like it's a bit of fun, so we'll definitely have to play that. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Another one that's actually worth a few quid on the PlayStation 2, so I think this is actually a decent little pile. These are all complete as well, they all have manuals. And then I'm just randomly checking the odd disc. Which, yeah, look, that's perfect as well. So Worms 3D. Did like a Worms game back in the day, I never really played a modern version of it, so. Another eye toy, just the original one. But again, nice box, so we'll definitely use that for something. Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. I do have, I have played one or two Prince of Persia games, they're actually not too bad, so we'll definitely give that a go. We have this one now, Sky Odyssey. Not really into my flying sim stuff, but I just thought we'll pop it in and see what it's like. We have Test Drive Unlimited. World Snooker Championship 2007. Again, Snooker wouldn't really be one that I'd play, but I don't know, maybe we'll give it a go and see. What's this one? Let's make a soccer team. So I'm guessing this is like a sort of a championship manager, but more of a, if you're a director or something like that, I think you create the club and would have loved something like this back in the day. We'll have to give it a shot and see. We have NBA Live 2004. Again, I think this is possibly my first basketball game that we've got, so we'll have to give it a go. And then last but not least, Pimp My Ride. So there we go. Probably not my sort of thing either, but um, again, complete, nice manual nice disc as well so yeah let me know in the comments what you would have done i think 25 euro is pretty good for that bundle i think we'll definitely well we'll probably keep i don't think we have any of them so we'll probably keep most of them maybe trade one or two off if we're not going to play them but yeah 25 euro i think that's a pretty good deal and it's a good way of bulking out the collection so yeah that's it that's all we picked up for the last week or two we'll be back again as usual in two weeks on thursday we might have something a bit different for the next episode it's sort of turning into car boot sale season here and there's a few of them fairly local that i'm going to try and check out work permitting i still need to uh, switch a few shifts around to try and get to them so we might have a bit of different footage so keep an eye out for that so just thanks for sticking around thanks for watching again and we'll see you all soon hope you're all keeping well cheers